Morning, folks. You know, when the cries for peace ring louder than the drums of war, it can be heard in every corner of the earth. Now, yeah, we have secret arms deals between Russia and Syria. And yet we have Russia and China and much of the Middle East pitted against the United States and the rest of the West in the halls of the UN. Regardless, folks, the awakening of the people continues. We have a pretty bad fire uh, that happened at a 60-year-old nuke plant in Russia. They claim there's no radiation leak and there's no danger to the public. I guess so far we just have to take their word for it. But it sure doesn't sound good. Philippines have been absolutely rocking this morning. A couple of large earthquakes. One uh, was originally actually a 7.0 and it was downgraded by the USGS to a 6.7 or 6.8, however you want to look at it. We have a little filament eruption on the northern central part of the earth facing disk. It's pretty much the only thing that we've seen come out of the sun. We were uh, in a coronal hole stream there for a little bit, but we're coming out of that now. You can see Mercury getting ready to conjoin the sun underneath there. Uh, but folks, that filament eruption may be what has accelerated these electrons. Uh, here you can see on both uh, ACE LE electron charts, um, we have a spike in the uh, the electron flux, and there's a good chance that these were accelerated by that uh, by that filament eruption on the north central part of the disk. You might remember we had our our eye on that little solar active region uh, over there. Well, guess what? It finally got its act together and became magnetically complex, as you could see it right there. But it is pretty much turning over the the, uh, the western limb and it's not really much of a threat anymore. So other than that uh, little filament eruption we have on the northern central part of the disk, we have a couple of those dark coronal hole-like features and a bunch more filaments to watch out for. Uh, that's the news folks, be safe.